The question says reaction conditions leading to the best yield of C2H5Cl. This is very interesting question. Pay attention very carefully. You can see in the first option, ethane is given there, but ethane is given in excess. Okay, it is given in excess. And Cl2 is given in limited quantity. This Cl2 is given limited quantity. Reaction is taking place in the presence of UV light means sunlight. And hence the reaction will be taking place via free radical mechanism. Okay. You can see when Cl2 is given in limited quantity, only one step reaction will take place. Okay. Only one step reaction means only monohalogen substituted alkane formation will be there. Okay. So we have a we have a C2 as 5 and Cl product is formed and we remove HCl is there. Okay, one Cl from here, one H from here, HCl is removed. Another Cl will attach here. Okay, so this is what ethyl chloride is there. Ethyl chloride. Okay. Next we have, you can see this is halogenation reaction but it is uh, in dark. Room temperature is there. Keep in mind halogenation reaction does not take place uh, in the dark. Okay, it is going below room temperature. So reaction will not occur. Okay. Next, we can you can see we have a C two S six ethane is there, and but Cl two is given excess quantity. Okay. So when Cl two is given excess quantity, so what about the number of hydrogen are present here? These all the hydrogen will be removed. You can see. So what will happen since what about the quantity of Cl two you need? You can take it. So you can see six hydrogen are there. So I take six Cl are there. What will happen? It will form C two Cl. 6 and 6 hydrogen 6 Cl will combine together forming 6 HCl is there 6 HCl so from here we are getting you can see C2 Cl6 is there because whatever the quantity of Cl is required you take it and so this Cl2 will keep on reacting with this ethane till all the hydrogens are substituted by halogen you can see this is the product is formed anyway we are not getting C2H5Cl in this case this is quite confusing. You can see the option is there. We have A and as well as T is there. You can see C2H6, Cl2 is there, UV light is there. Okay, reaction will take place smoothly. Then uh, mono halogenated product we are supposed to get C2H5 and this is Cl is there. Cl. Okay, now since reaction is taking place smoothly, so you can see in this case, you know, some quantity, very small quantity of dihalide is also found. We have C2 and it is H4Cl2 is there. This is dihalide. Dihalide. This is monohalide, and this is uh, this is what we have dihalide. It is in large quantity. It is it is in a small quantity. Like okay, some quantity, to so some extent. In general, we do not consider this uh, byproduct, you know. <coughs> but some quantity of dihalide is also found in the reaction. This is monohalide, and since you can see some quantity of dihalide is formed, means some quantity. Some out you can see entire quantity of C2H6 as well as Cl2 is not used in the production of C2H5Cl. Okay, because some quantity of these reactants are also converting into dihalide. So that's why you can see entire quantity, entire concentration of a reactant is not con converting into C2H5Cl, that is monohalide. In this case, you can see complete you use it there okay you can see we have cl2 is there limited quantity as you can see this entire cl2 will be reacting with c2 s6 and forming c2 h5 whatever the best yield is there we are getting an option a is there an option a in this case since some quantity of dihalide is also found means uh, you can see complete conversion is not taking place complete conversion so best yield we can say in option a option a is correct if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel